Hello everyone, today I'm going to tell you why I will be returning this Microsoft Surface Pro and continue to use my old Fujitsu Slate to see patients. I am currently running Allscripts Professional EHR version 17.1.2.6. It is currently installed as a fat client running on the Surface Pro 4. Um, this one has uh, i7 with 8 gigs, 8, 8 gigs of RAM, and the installation was without any problems. The reason I am going to re be returning the Surface Pro 4 is not so much the hardware itself, but the way the data input is being forced upon me. For instance, if you go to reason for visit, you go to urinary difficulties, you want to edit a, a, uh, a field, say you want to enter information here. I have to go all the way down to the bottom to open this up and then try to enter a number into this field. And then I hit OK. And then I have to get rid of that keyboard and hit OK. Say you go to assessment and plan, You want to enter information. Guess what? I have to go all the way down to the bottom and then enter information like, well, like doctor's handwriting, this. All right, so it requires that I go all the way down to the bottom to invoke the keyboard. The other thing I don't like about this is, is that it's a touch screen and there's no way to disable the touch and simply keep the pen working. So a lot of times I will touch the side and invoke uh, some other feature on Windows, which I don't want and while I'm seeing patients. And this is my preferred way of documenting, uh, documenting the patient encounter is by using it as a slate. I don't want to use a computer, this kind of is kind of a barrier between myself and the patient. So I never want to have a tablet or, or, or a, a notebook computer, a screen between myself and the patient. I, I don't think that facilitates patient physician relationship. So this is the Surface Pro 4. Now, what I have been using is um, one of these Fujitsu uh, slates or tablets. I started with a Fujitsu, this is an oldie, oh my gosh, this is so heavy. A Fujitsu uh, Lifebook T4210, this thing is a brick. And then I moved up to a Fujitsu Stylistic T6012. Lot slicker, no keyboard, just the screen. And I, I ran with this for many, many years. And I love this thing, except it got a little heavy. Fujitsu then came out with a Q702. This was a disaster. The screen was not a Wacom, Wacom screen. It required one of these uh, styluses that, re that uses a, a, a quadruple A battery. I hated the interface. I hated the screen. It, I tolerated it briefly until I got the Fujitsu Q704, which is what I'm currently using to see patients and document encounters. It uses a Wacom pen that does not require a battery. And let me show you how information is um, entered into the EHR. I'm going to exit out of the other computer. Okay. So same patient, same test patient. So no protected health information is being released. <clears throat> I'll go over to the duration here and I want to document in here. All I have to do, instead of going all the way down to the bottom, the pen input screen is docked over here. Notice I'm not touching the screen. I am simply bringing the cursor close to this, this uh, docked area. And guess what? That opens up for me automatically. Then I can enter information into this field. So to enter this, this information into this field, all I have to do is hover click like that. And it's there. Okay. No touching needed. Talk about efficiency. Then I click 
well, it requires a number, so I will put in a number there. But anyway, let me go over to assessment and plan and show you how information can be entered in there and why this is my preferred method. Now, this is running Windows 7, whereas the Surface Pro is running Windows 10. That is the problem. Windows 7 implementation of handwriting recognition is better than Windows 10. And for that reason, and that is really the main reason I'm returning the uh, Surface Pro 4. It will run professional EHR. However, the data entry is suboptimal. So I'll go into edit this assessment and plan item. And when I, when I click on this empty field, guess what? Look at that little icon right there. I hover over it. I did not touch it. I hover over it, over it, and it opens up this field for me to enter information. And I hover, I hover over this the little insert icon. I'll show it to you again. Okay. I'll I'll hover over this insert icon. I'm not touching the screen. I'll hover over it. Boom. Automatically enters it right into the field. So much more efficient. I'm not clicking, click, 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 click. It's annoying. It's it's slow. And this is so much more efficient. I think Microsoft needs to step up their game when it comes to data entry, um, uh, handwriting recognition. When you're trying to enter information in the field, put, <clears throat> put the um, uh, data entry field, uh, the keyboard screen here. So when you touch, when you are in the field, you simply hover over that little icon and it opens it up automatically. Don't make me go all the way down to the bottom. That is so stupid and inefficient. In any case, that is why I'm sticking with the old Fujitsu. I'm going to try to run Windows 7 for as long as I can and I'll be returning the Microsoft Stylus, uh, Microsoft um, Surface Pro 4. Let me know what your thoughts are regarding handwriting recognition using Windows 7 versus Windows 10, using a Fujitsu Slate, and versus uh, using a um, Surface Pro. I want to know what your favorite data entry uh, solutions are when, you, when you're seeing patients, if you're using a Slate, a tablet like this, or a notebook computer, or maybe using you're using a, um, a desktop computer in each patient's room. Let me know your thoughts, and I will catch you all later.